Hi, this is Rich Brooks of Flight New Media, and today we're talking about Google+. Now with any social network, people are often concerned about their privacy settings. Luckily, it's very easy to control and manage your privacy in Google+. You just want to go up to your name and choose Privacy. This will take you to your profile and privacy page. Let's start with the sharing section down here. The sharing section allows you control over who's going to see what information that you put out as well as what information you're going to receive. Critical to this is the idea of circles. Circles are groups of people that you create, maybe they're friends, family, or even business associates. This gives you control over who's going to see your most recent blog post and who's going to see photos from your kid's birthday party. You can also control here whose posts are you going to see when they post something to Google+, as well as who's going to see your posts when you put them up there. Up at the top of the page, you're going to see the search results for your Google profile. Does this say what you want it to say? If not, you can change your information in your profile. Another neat feature is you can see what your profile looks like to different people depending on who they are and their relationship to you, depending on what circle they're in. So this is what my profile looks like through the eyes of Sabelle Brooks. Back on your home page, you can control through your circles who gets to see your posts. So I can choose to share this particular post with my friends. or even all of my extended circles. Now it looks like three people who are not yet using Google Plus are going to get this post. If I don't want to have them sent an email with this information in it, I can just uncheck this and then go ahead and share. So as you can see, Google Plus gives you great control over your privacy settings, but you're going to have to play around a little bit with your circles to get the level of control you're looking for. We'll talk more about using circles in another video. Thanks, this has been Rich Brooks.